from me. Thank you. I've become a fine gentleman because of you. I'll repay my debt to you, mon ami. And there we have all three Grunties on Lambda raised. Now I'm going to head back to Theta because there's something there to show you. Now at the Grunty Ranch in Theta, I could have done this in Lambda, but I chose to do it in Theta first. If you talk to the person, there's the flag race that we can do. If you check the rankings, it's essentially a race. If we can beat 20 seconds on the nose, we get first place. For this, we get a golden grunty and a nifty wallpaper. For second place, we get a silver grunty, so if possible, we want to beat both first and second place. You do not get all prizes underneath if you get first place, so you have to beat second without beating first. 100 GP and all that much. Now, there's three grunties to choose from. The Noble Grunty is average on all stats. The Poison Grunty has exceedingly good acceleration and turning, but poor speed. The Iron Grunty has good, exceedingly good top speed, but poor acceleration and turning. Now, the Iron Grunty takes some getting used to, but if you want to beat that top time, you have to use the Iron Grunty. Just to feel it out, though, I'm going to use the Noble Grunty the first time. Now there's three flags hidden in town, and you want to get all three of them, and I'm all going to be doing absolutely horrible. Yes, people are still wandering around town and generally getting in your way and being a nuisance. Yeah, there's the last flag! Did I, I don't think I even made the rankings. Nope. Looks like I gotta shave three seconds off somewhere. Fortune wire. So yeah, I get to stand here and do this for the next hour and a half while I try to win.
two, one. Go! Now, as the games have been going on, I've been clearing out the Ryu books. And we have plenty new wallpapers and nifty things. Now, for the Grunty races, for winning the Lambda server Grunty race, we get this background image. For winning, winning Theta, we get this one. Now, just the ones you get from clearing out the game are here. Now, I could spend all day clear going through all of these things, there's a great deal of them. And these, as soon as it went back to these signs, here, these are the ones that I finished getting in the end of the first game. Now, there's also a lot of different musics you get that you can play in the background. Various just musics from the game itself. There are a couple, though, bonus tracks you get once you've gotten all the other tracks. Now, a couple people got on me for not playing the bonus track at the end of the first game, so, uh, yeah. Personally, I'm not all that fond of it, but... And I may change my wallpaper around as the game goes on, but I still guarantee you, the background music is going to remain Scaife's theme. Now, we have some mail to go through as well, since I didn't cover any of the mail going back and forth throughout the game. Now, I explained earlier, it's once you get their affection up to a certain amount, and you can raise their affection just by partying with them, giving them items, what and whatnot. Um, they will start an email chain. You can usually answer each chain one of two ways. One will either end it or continue on. The exception to this being Pyros, who will reply no matter what you say.